Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother. Last time we made it to the town of Thanksgiving, we met this weakling Lloyd who wants to get a bottle rocket from a little factory. And uh, we're going to be heading there now. So first things first, go ahead and use a bread. Just use it in front of the elementary school. And that way we can warp out of the factory whenever we're done there. And we'll head straight back to the, um, to the school there. It's really handy. Even though that crow stole my bread last time. Bastard. Uh, but thankfully I had another one. If you don't, you can always go to the store and buy another bread anyway. But they're just really handy dandy to have. Oh, a lynx! This cat looks like it's on fire! That cat is on fire! Yeah, no kidding. Quite a bit different from your ordinary cat, I've gotta say. Anyway, with the boomerang, we just one-shot it. Oh. So, all factories in this game are ridiculous huge mazes. And we literally are fighting rats that you could first encounter in the basement of your house. Yeah, I don't know why they do that, but whatever. Here we get a magic herb. Awesome. There's tons of treasure around here. A lot of it is just complete garbage, though. So don't worry about it if you can't hold it. It's not the end of the world. Like, you get antidotes, you get magic herbs, like, you just get a bunch of crap. Um, there's really only one thing that you're here for, which is the bottle rocket. I mean, there is some good stuff, and I'll be getting everything just to show it off. We get a strength capsule, but of course, we can't hold it. Let's go ahead and use a magic herb. There we go. And let's go ahead and drop the antidote. Don't need that. Strength Capsule does exactly what you think it does, but let's look at the info of it. Yeah, it raises your strength. And since our hero is our main fighter, we're going to go ahead and use it on him. Increases his strength by four. Hey, we get a medicine. Medicine is something that you're going to want to keep because, you know, it restores all of your HP. So that's something that you're probably going to want to give to your sister or the storage person over in Magic Hand. In here, what do we have? A knife. Yeah, a knife is a weapon for Teddy, who you've named at the beginning of the game. And um, it is, it's his worst weapon. I don't know why they give it to you here. It's just weird. Like, once you get Teddy, you can immediately get much better stuff. So it's just worthless to have. Um, yeah, there's a, another magic herb there. If you go to the left here, you'll get a rope. We don't need a rope, but if you want one, it's there. If there's one big change that I wish that they made in the Game Boy Advance remake, it would be to give us unlimited inventory space, because this inventory is kind of ridiculous. Oh, come on. Um, magic herb. Okay. Okay, awesome. Got a fight capsule. Go ahead and use that one on David as well to increase our fight by five. And continue on our way. And again, I've only been encountering rats in here. In here, there should be a magic herb we can grab. Not that I need it, but it's there. So yeah, you might be scared of coming into here alone, but you're fighting rats. If you go to the right here, you'll get an antidote, but <laughs> I won't be able to carry it anyway, so who cares? But down here, we have an important item. Uh, I probably can't even... Okay, yeah, use the magic herb, whatever. And here we get a speed capsule, which will increase your speed. I mean, it's pretty obvious there. So it's nice to get these um, permanent stat gain items, so I think that's actually somewhat useful to grab. We'll just continue on our way. And we have a trash can here, oddly enough. Uh, let's check it out. A bottle rocket! Hey, this is what Lloyd wanted! Nice! Um... You can actually get as many bottle rockets from this trash can as you want to. It's an infinite supply. But everything else that we have here is pretty important, so I'm not going to worry about it. Oh. Hello? Oh, hey. They had cell phones like this in 1988? Okay. Um, no, I'm going to continue. Because the Earth is in danger, after all, like you said. Well, thanks. So yeah, if you check it again, you can get more and more and more bottle rockets. So I might come back here with Lloyd and do that, but, eh, whatever. 
Magic herbs, we don't need. Cracked bat, completely don't need. And down here... Medicine, can I fit medicine in here anywhere? Eh, no, not really. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use my breadcrumbs. Brings me all the way back to Twinkle Elementary School. And now that I have the bottle rocket, we can go ahead and give that to Lloyd, and the delinquent's gonna fire it off because that's his dream in life, I guess. Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice! And with that, we have more party members with Lloyd joining the party. Duncan's factory. Because there's an incredible rocket there. And unfortunately, you can't hold the run button to speed him up either, like you can in the NES version. So yeah, if you thought that Sweets Factory was kind of bad, like Maisie, you ain't seen nothing yet. A weakling, stinkling, or a stupid head. I've already been called a stupid head. We can't both be stupid heads. Look at this room. Look at it very closely. What are you going to do? Whoa! Ooh! Yeah, he completely demolished this room. Everything is just completely destroyed. But apparently there's no problem here. Yeah, the chalkboard like fell off the wall and everything. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> However, if you go back inside, it's completely fine. And there's a teacher in here now. A weird teacher. Um... Okay, what do you have? He has completely useless crap. Um, actually, I think that some of this... I, I want to say that maybe they switched this. Huh, I'll have to look into this, because in the NES version he sold useless shit, but this is different. Like the slime generator, that was an Earthbound. The super bomb, that was an Earthbound 2. Ultimate weapon. I'm going to look into this. But what I'm going to do... Um, also, now that we have Lloyd, if we look at him, he is on level one. He has zero experience. He's, um, yeah, he's nothingness going on. So I want to level him up. And the best way to do that, we're just going to use our Onyx Hook. This brings us back to Magicant. We can talk to the swimming cat. And, uh, no, I haven't. Hey, hey, sweet. Thank you, swimming cat. Thanks so much. Um, let's see, it looks like she gave it to him, the magic candy. Go ahead and use that. Only Lloyd can use it, and it will increase his fight by five. So what I'm going to do here in Magic Ant is I'm going to purchase weapons and armor for both David and Lloyd from these various shops, and I'm going to be grinding up a little bit in the um, little tunnel down there, and then I will meet you back at Thanksgiving whenever I'm done. In the midst of my grinding here, I did encounter some uh, a new enemy that's called the Bonus Swoosh. And I'm not going to show off all the new enemies that I do encounter, but um, this one in particular I do want to show off because it's different from other enemies. <laughs> because he'll greet everybody and politely leave, and increase my experience points, and you get a lot more experience points by having him do that than actually kill him. So anyway, I'm gonna continue my grind. I got my grinding done, and I'm back here at this science teacher. Um, the grind took me a little bit longer than I expected, simply because I wanted to kind of test out and see what this science teacher has. So as you can see, I'm pretty high leveled, level 22 and level 19, and honestly, it really didn't take me all that much time, like 15 minutes maybe a magic can't to do that. Not much time at all. Bought a magic coin for David, and for Lloyd, I bought a magic coin and a goddess bracelet. He still doesn't have a weapon, I'll buy him a weapon in a minute, and I didn't buy pendants either, because eh, we don't need them quite yet. I'll buy them soon enough. Anyway, let's go ahead and check in with this teacher here. And uh, look and see what he has. Let's try the ultimate weapon. Oh, and make a save state before you do this. Okay, so the ulti ultimate weapon. Um, oh, God, I'm having inventory issues. The info is that it says, like, nothing, but let's go ahead and use it as an item. Just turn the power off. He's basically saying, hey, if you want to beat the game turn off the game, then you don't have to beat it. It's just like, hey, if you want to, you know, beat this game, just turn the power off, go outside and play. 
it's kind of ridiculous. So let's uh, go ahead and look at some of his other weapons. Let's look at the real rocket. This is the really expensive one. Oh, well, do tell. Don't press... <laughs> yeah, and then he pressed the button and it flew off into outer space. And he takes all of your money for that. That's just fantastic. Oh, okay. So the other two items are actually can be somewhat useful. There's the slime generator, which you can use multiple times to immobilize an enemy. But for the most part, it's really not worth it. The super bomb is actually quite nice. It's very expensive. I'm not going to be buying it right now. Uh, but do keep in mind where it is sold because much later on in the game, you may want to load Lloyd up with those super bombs. Um, basically, you use them as an item, and it kills all the enemies outright. It's very nice to have. So, I do want to make another stop over here at the department store um, with my money. Let's see what we can go ahead and grab. Um, I think I need some bread. There it is. Awesome. Can always use some more bread. Um, we'll buy one more bread, just in case. Now nah, I'm good. Okay, um, and then the next thing that I want to buy is over at the Sporting Goods, and go ahead and get a Boomerang. You definitely want to go ahead and grab that for Lloyd. It's actually better than the stun gun that you can give him. Um, let's see. Yeah, the stun gun's only like 15 attack power, and the, um, and the Boomerang is 32 attack power. Okay, next on my list of things to do... Um, you know what, let's actually just go ahead and heal up Lloyd. Heal him up as much as humanly- Damn it. I wish that telepathy wasn't there, it shouldn't be the first thing in the list. Just go ahead and heal him up as much as humanly possible. Okay, we should be fine. Then I want to go ahead and use my bread for right here in front of the hotel. There we are. And I'm also going to make a save state just in case. So, if we leave town over here, you're going to notice this kind of like red dotted line thing, and then a diagonal line going up from that. The diagonal line is this train track right here, and then the red dotted line... Whoa! A fugitive! And a rope. Well, the red dotted line is where the train tracks go into, but let's check these two guys out. Oh god, he's on the FBI's most wanted list. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. But um, we still really don't have much in the ways of attack power, or as far as attack um, PSI to use, so it's really just physical attacks that we can use here. But we're actually able to go inside of this tunnel right here. However, you're really not supposed to because the enemies in here are hard like ridiculously hard and um the scorpion oh huh okay well you can kill it with some sprays i guess and um if you have like a bug spray or whatever but it can also poison you which is really annoying but not the end of the world wow we're still getting tons of levels let's go ahead and use our healing alpha i think hey, hey perfect yeah, I got a lot of PSIs, too, and stuff whenever I was um, doing that grind. But really, it was grind for money. It wasn't, I mean, experience was nice, but it was just a side effect. What's this? Yeah, this is the guy saying, hey, you know, I died here. You better take the train or else you're going to die, too. So let's take his advice and use our breadcrumbs. Back here to the hotel. And, uh, definitely go ahead and stay- $130 per night?! Eh, I have plenty of money, why not? I'll use it, it's fine. Okay. And, um, you know what? I have the money, I'm gonna use this money to go back to Magicant and grab those pendants, and then I'll meet you in a second. Okay, I got that taken care of, so now I'm fully outfitted with the best armor in the game. Uh, for both of my party members, boomerangs for both of them as well. 
Uh, make sure that you have maximum psychic points as we go out. And um, also deposit a lot of your money back inside of the ATM because you might die in this area. Make sure that you have a piece of bread with you, the big bag, a PSI stone is a good idea. As far as Lloyd is concerned, he still just has that one bottle rocket from before. Um, we're going to need the inventory space because this next area that we're going to is so big and so long and so painful, it's horrid. Ugh, like we're going to be in here for probably the entirety of the next episode. But what's this? Huh, looks like some rocks in front of the train tracks. Right here, in front of these train tracks, you're going to want to go ahead and use your bread. Um, because recall, there was somebody inside the town who said, hey, there's rocks blocking the train tracks. But if you shoot a rocket from Duncan's factory, it's going to get rid of those rocks. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. The thing is, though... Oh, a pass. Oh, how unusual. And does it stay? Oh, it does stay in our inventory. Oh, okay. Well, isn't that convenient? So I guess we can get on with this pass now. But anyway, as I was saying, the reason for all that grinding and the reason for buying all that armor at Magic Camp is because Lloyd has to survive. If you get to the end of this long, god-awful, convoluted dungeon and Lloyd is dead, guess what? You have to go back to the hospital and revive him, and then you gotta redo it all over again. Yeah, he has to survive. I do have a pass. I guess I should use it. Aw, oh, come on, let me in. I didn't steal it, I just took it off the ground. Uh-oh. Oh, what are you doing? Are you dancing? Whoa! For a stray dog? Really? We fought a stray dog right back at the beginning of the game! Oh, we got a flea bomb, that's lovely. Okay, but anyway, with that we can now enter Duncan's Factory, one of the worst dungeons of existence, like in all JRPG-dom. This place is awful. I'm gonna be tackling it next time. Well, let's play Mother. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.